Historically, Ireland's climate has been defined by mild weather, plenty of rainfall, and an absence of extreme temperatures. But with climate change, the future of a reliable water supply is less certain. In recent years, water restrictions have become a reality, which can be hard for people to understand in one of the wettest countries in Europe. There's been this remarkable wave of stories about all these incredible, wonderful archaeological discoveries in Ireland because the ground is so dry that you can see ancient settlements. We enjoy reading about those discoveries and the archaeologists are delighted. But again, there's a message there. And the message is, maybe Ireland is changing. There were two storms in quick succession, Emma and Ophelia. And what we found is that there was this massive freeze event. So a load of our pipes burst. And that meant that loads of people were out of water. And then when we tried to get the water back to people, because it was out for a while, we had air locks, which means the water physically couldn't get through the pipe. When we think about past climate variability and even indeed future climate change, that will affect the availability of water resources. So it's crucial that we build the resilience of water supply systems. And building the resilience, resilience essentially means being able to, to maintain function uh, during extreme events. Currently, the water level in the lake is quite low, and this is a result of the very good summer we had and the lack of rainfall over the whole summer period. The drought this summer was quite severe and quite prolonged. It went on for seven or eight weeks, really, you know. The cows during the hot weather drink between 60 and 100 litres a day each. So if you don't have it, it's, um, it's a big problem. When I grew up, we, we had no running water. We had to draw water from the barn and bring it up on a horse and cart and then give it to cattle. Some of my friends um, have had wells, maybe older wells that were shallow, 70 or 80 feet, and they've gone dry with the water table being so low after the drought. And um, they've had to bore new ones to, to get their supply up and running again. The water temperature went much higher than it would normally. 18 degrees would be a maximum summer temperature normally, but this year in the black water it was 24 degrees in places. And getting up to that temperature, salmon and trout uh, can't even breathe under the water, there's so little oxygen. The general trend is that the wet places become wetter and the dry places become drier. Adding on top of that, places that are struggling now to have enough water are going to find that's a little more challenging and places that are struggling with too much water from storms are likely to experience more severe storms that are gonna tax their ability to prevent floods. Water is the fire of life, and without water, we can't have life. So it's beholding on us to have water of quality and in quantity to sustain our existence. Water supply and quality is becoming an ever bigger issue in the world. There are lots of companies that have started to take this seriously because they see water as a risk, a risk to their ability to do business and to deliver the products that their customers want. environmental education program and it's international. We run water workshops. It's about the students doing all the work and really trying to empower themselves and then to spread the message back into their schools and into their homes. 
people in in like places like Africa, I mean they they like have to go and collect their water and it's not mm -hmm. even that nice. Like mm -hmm. they have to get from the river and it's like and it's sometimes all mucky and stuff. So you wouldn't like want to taste it at all. But, it, but if you wanted to survive, you just have to go with it. You might spend two euros fifty on a bottle of water, which is one liter. You know, so you assign a value to it because you're putting, you're willing to pay two euros fifty for it, and it's well worth it because then you drink it, and you're not thirsty, so you have an immediate impact of that two euros fifty. But when you're at home and you're not thinking with that head on, it, it seems more disposable. Not to run the taps for drinks, just to take the first drink from the tap. Short showers, that's another one, not too long in the shower. That's for dad as well. What's your favourite phrase about the toilet? Oh, yeah, if it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down.